praise the Lord. We are becoming from Matthew, the book of Matthew, um, chapter four, verse one. Um, this is the first temptation. Uh, this is when uh, G uh, Jesus was tempted by the devil. Amen. So it says, then Jesus was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fast 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards and hungered. Verse three. And when the temper came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, command the command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, men should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. All right. So up here, it talks about where during this time, Jesus, Jesus was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Verse two. Um. Verse one, Jesus was led into the wilderness. Um, so let me clarify this. God doesn't attempt anyone. All right. He doesn't attempt anyone. However, God used satanic tempting to serve his sovereign purpose. Um, just like he did with Job. And that's in the book of James one and 13. It says, let no one say when he is tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. Um, so God used Satan to tempt Job. Um, verse two, it talks about uh, Jesus. Jesus was fasting 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, also, um, Moses, did y'all know that Moses was fasting 40 days and 40 nights? Um, he, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy nine and nine. I'm sorry, I did not put that up there. Um, it talks about um, it says when when uh, when went up, received the tablets of stone, the covenant which the Lord made made with you. Then I stay on mountain 40 days and 40 nights and I either ate bread nor drank water. Um, God sustained it, brother Moses. OK. And also another one, Elijah. OK, he he fasted. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And you can get that in the book of 1 Kings 19 and 8. Um, it talks about how Elijah fasted as well. I'm going to talk about verse 3. Here is where Satan starts tempting Jesus. And he tells him to command these stones to bread. Um, Satan knew Jesus was the son of God. He did not. He did not. He knew. So. But Satan wanted Jesus to lose focus of what God's God's plan, you know, um, and that's what happens with us at times. You know, sometimes we may be fasting or sometimes we may not be fasting, you know, but Satan would try to uh, distract us to lose God's plan, God's focus that he has for us. And that's what we need to be alert. Amen. Verse four, Jesus is being uh, talked. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus was talking back to Satan and using God's word, using the word of God. And and he and he said it, it it is it is written men should not live by bread alone. Deuteronomy eight and three. Um, Jesus quote this. OK, he quote this scripture. So and it says so he humbled. So he humbled you, allow you to hunger and feed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know. That man should not live by bread alone. And we should not live by bread alone. But man lives by every word that perceive the, from the mouth of God. And every word is the word of God. So although God was trying, although God was trying to humble the uh, book of Deuteronomy, God was trying to humble the children of Israel, you know, by teaching them to trust, um, to trust him as their as as their provider and and that's what he does with us you know he you know he 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 humbles us at times to to look to him to trust him as as you know as as um as our as his provider you know he's our provider you know so jesus used this same verse to fight off satan temp, um, temptations and that's what we should do we should use the word of god to fight off any satan um, temptations that he bring amen every word that proceed from the mouth of god you know again the word of god 
is nourishment to our spirit, is nourishment to our mind and our heart and to our well-being. Without the word, you know, we will die spiritually. We need the word of God. You know, it helps us to get through the day. It helps us to get through whatever we're going through. You know, we need the word to become vibrant, energized and alive. You know, when things are going chaotic at work or when when the kids is acting up in school or whatever, you know, you can remain calm and peaceful and everybody just ah, and you just calm and mellow, you know, because you got the word of God in you. You know, you praying your way through and you praying for everybody around you, you know. Um, so we should study, meditate and learn how to be a doer of the word and not hearers only. And we we can copy our big brother, Jesus, and use use the word to fight off the devil's uh, tactics. Amen. Yeah. All right. May God have a blessing to the reading and hearing and the doer of his holy word. Amen.